what can we take from this right now? How can we apply this to our life right now? Hope to come is, is the sermon title. Think about times in your life where we've had hope given to us, had hope sent to us by an angel, had hope given to us through faith, through charity, through grace, and have this joy. And everything that we had, this, this chance of, of hope. And if I can give you this one chance, this one glimpse of hope, it would be a glimpse of heaven. Now, going back to this national tournament, if you, if we're, let's say we're in heaven right now, and, and everything that, that's surrounding us is going to be joy and happiness and glory and, and, and just fellowship and, and no pain, no, all pleasure. And so um, we're at this tournament, and, and the fields are beautiful. There's hundreds of teams at this tournament. Now, what's neat about this tournament is that every team is a champion. We had to we had to beat six number one teams. Number one team in Florida. Number one team in Alabama. Number one team in uh in Wisconsin, in uh, Missouri, and Mississippi. So so we have just think about this. We're in heaven. We're all champions. We all made it. We're all in the glory of God. We're there. At this little glimpse of heaven, this little soccer tournament, hundreds of teams, and we're all champions at this tournament. Everybody's being nice. Up. We all, it, it was a special thing to get there. It took me 14 hours to drive there. People flew there. It, it was an unbelievable situation and a little glimpse of heaven. Out of these six girls, there were four families that were there, four families that were there. They spent their Thanksgiving there. The girls, the girls earned this national birth. They earned a chance for their family to have a vacation and think about life for a second we're, sur we're, we're in we're all families we have the, these wonderful husband wife kids siblings everybody's there for each other and every child every one of these girls had their brothers their sister their mom their dad grace had her grandparents there her grandfather there i mean we're talking about heaven a glimpse of heaven on earth earth right right now in these pews through advent through the joy of the birth of john the baptist the joy of what's getting ready to happen with, with jesus the joy of, of what hard work can bring so just to i know i'm, I'm late i apologize but just to, to wrap this up the, the hope to come it, 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 we can't just sit and hope right we can't just sit and say yes let's hope for everything to work out what we had to do was that hope that came, we, we, we created a team, we had practices, we had tournaments, we worked hard through this hope to accomplish glory. And, the, and, and here's the story from God right now. Here's hope to come through Zachariah, through Elizabeth. They're, they're, they're too old to have a child, but, but not, not God's eyes. And not, they not only have a child, they have John hope to come he's going to prepare the way for Jesus it's going to be hard work we know what happens we know that the journey that Jesus has to do to get to the cross but right now with this wonderful joy this wonderful hope to come of Jesus and it's coming through John the Baptist and here we are right now where we can bring this hope to our lives and here's the neatest thing I'll be finished right now. But here's the neat thing about these about these, these these girls is that they have learned how to finish. How many times in your life have you started a job and not finished it? Or how many times in your life have you almost gotten to the very end? You worked so hard, you just couldn't get over that hump. Each game, these girls only won by one or two goals. I mean, they were tight type games. Each game there was adversary. Each game they had to overcome. Each game they had to have the ability to finish. And in your life, can we finish? Can we accomplish our dreams? Can we create glory in our life? Can we bring our children to Jesus Christ? We need to have a great start. We need to have great work ethic, exceptional work ethic. We need to create urgency to ramp it up so that we can soar as wings on eagles. We need to look up to the salvific work that was accomplished by Jesus Christ on the cross. And then we need to work like Jesus. Not only have hope, not only have faith, 
but have this work ethic to work like Jesus. Think of how hard Jesus worked and gave his life for us. Finally, Jesus said, it is finished. He finished the job. Victory is ours because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. A glimpse of heaven, hope to come. Let me pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this scripture text. Thank you for what you gave me in this wonderful, wonderful adventure of the national championship. Lord, thank you for the lives of these, these children and, and, and the work ethic. And thank you for their families. Thank you for their moms, their dads, their siblings, and, and everything you gave them. They'll have that for the rest of their life that their brother or sister was there watching them win a national championship. They'll have that forever. It can never be taken away. And Lord, we have what you gave us, your salvific work on the cross. We have to go through a lot of work to get there first, Lord, and we're starting right now with the birth of John the Baptist. He's going to pave the way for your birth. So, Lord, we just thank you for this wonderful season of Advent and for Christmas. And we just ask you to bless everyone. And we just give you all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.